Welcome to my channel. I want to talk about John Lott and media bias, but before I do that, I have to thank you for coming to my channel. Thank you for watching my videos. Thank you for liking them, for commenting on them, for sharing them. And I'm especially thankful for all of you who have subscribed to my channel. I'm amazed by the growth. I'm amazed by the interest. It's, it's hard for me to believe that this many people want to hear what I have to say. But apparently they do, so I'm going to keep talking. If you're not familiar with John Lott, John is an economist, and he does research specifically on guns in the United States, but also in guns worldwide and shootings worldwide. And uh, I know the, uh, the headline down there is, is uh, confusing, but don't worry about it. We'll get to the su proper subject here shortly. Now let's listen to this tape. Uh, the president of the Crime Prevention Research Center says new statistical analysis shows the Biden administration and the mainstream media have exaggerated the number of mass shootings taking place in the U.S. One America's John Hines has more from Washington. New analysis from the Crime Prevention Research Center shows that claims from Joe Biden and the mass media that the country has experienced a staggering 650 mass shootings since the tragic May 2022 violence in Evaldi, Texas, is extremely misleading. And with us is Dr. John Lott, president of the Crime Prevention Research Center. Sir, what seems to be the source of these inaccuracies regarding mass public shootings? And is there perhaps an incentive to exaggerate? Right. Well, the source that uh, Biden and the media rely on is something called the Gun Violence Archive, which is a gun control group, which has been involved in things like lobbying the Centers for Disease Control not to put up any information on defensive gun uses on their websites because they're concerned that it makes it more difficult for them to go and push for uh, gun control laws that they think should be enacted. The media will go and say there were 28 shootings in Chicago, let's say, over the last weekend. But they don't cover each of those individual cases. The media's interest in gang fights over drug turf, which would be the overwhelming majority of those types of cases, they treat those very differently than somebody going to a mall or a movie theater or a school with the whole point of simply trying to go and kill as many people as possible. The causes and solutions to those different types of shootings are very, very different from each other. So Joe Biden, when Joe Biden, for instance, says that there have been 650 mass shootings since May of 2022, which was the date of uh, Uvalde, Texas, that mass shooting there, he is, he is citing statistics which are not accurate. Is that what you're saying, Dr. Lott, according to your research? Uh, the impression that's given from the media and from Biden is that all these are the same. And it's just, you know, it's one thing. You just look at the way the media covers these different types of cases very differently. Do you, do you recognize the sleight of hand that's going on? <clears throat> They're saying there's 650 mass shootings, but then when they report the mass shootings, they report on things like Uvalde. Now, I don't know about you, but to me, a mass shooting is when somebody who is a complete stranger to the people that are uh, injured and killed arrives on the premises of some location and begins shooting people for what appears to be no apparent reason. Sometimes we get what they call manifestos that explains their so-called reasoning behind them, but clearly in many of those cases, the people are mentally unbalanced and need help. But the, the basic concept of a mass shooting to me, and I think to the minds of most people is, a complete stranger walks into a place where people are congregated and shoots up the place and kills and injures people. That's what a mass shooting is. What the a gun violence archive is doing is recording every single shooting where more than one person is killed or injured. And a lot of that, as John points out, includes gang gunfights between gangs. I don't think any of us consider that to be a mass shooting, do we? It's a completely different situation. 
there there's a very very deliberate actions taken by people that have a specific goal in mind they want to kill their rivals over you know drug turf or uh you know other kinds of crime that they commit they want exclusive access to those areas where they can commit those crimes and so they're trying to take out their competitors but that's not what a mass shooter is doing a mass shooter is just randomly killing people for no discernible reason or no logical reason and if you think about it what does the media cover they cover events like uvalde and they groan and moan about them and how terrible they are and then they use these statistics to say and look how common they are it's a really slick sleight of hand it's it's a very devious way of getting you to think oh yes the problem is much worse than i thought it was but as john can show you through his research and i'll put the link to his uh, website up the crime prevention center so that you can uh, go there and read articles if you want but what john shows is that mass shootings are not as common per capita in the united states as they are in other countries, some of which have extremely strict gun control laws. The whole point of this is, the people that are keeping the statistics are not keeping honest statistics. They're keeping statistics to further their goal, which is to get guns out of the hands of Americans. And, you know, forget the guns. Any kind of scientific analysis that has a specific goal in mind when they do their research is going to end up being false data. It's skewed. It's tilted towards the answer that they're trying to obtain from the data. So they will tend to ignore things that go counter to their narrative and they will tend to emphasize things that go toward their narrative. And that's the thing you need to understand when you're watching the news and where you're seeing these stories you are not getting a honest telling of the facts. You're getting a skewed narrative that's designed to accomplish a specific purpose. And it's done intentionally. And what the media is doing is using these places like the Begun Violence Archive as an authoritative source for their data. They're saying, look, these guys did the research. Here's what they found. We're just reporting it. It's kind of the clean hands thing. You know, it's like Pilate when he washed his hands of Jesus and said, this blood's not on me. That's what it is. The, the, the media is saying, hey, we're just reporting the facts. We're not making any judgment calls here. We're just reporting what the uh, people who do the research are telling us. But they're specifically picking the people that they want to provide them with the data that they want so they can get the narrative that they want, so that they can get the results that they want. It's all a game of smoke and mirrors. Uh, I will put the uh, link to uh, John's website and the link to this video in the uh, description so that you can go and read them and watch the video and do the research yourself and learn about it. But I just wanted to point this out to you because it's, it's a systemic problem in the U.S. media. They're always using sources that give them the narrative they want to tell. And then they're telling you that they have clean hands because they're just reporting what other researchers have said. It's all a bunch of baloney. As for my viewers, I pray that God will give you abundant life, that he will keep you healthy and give you long life, and I pray that he will keep you safe from harm. And I pray that he'll do the same for every person that you love. And I also pray that you'll be anxious for nothing, but in all things, through prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, you will keep your requests known to God, make your requests known to God, and the peace that passes all understanding will keep your heart and mind in Christ Jesus. This is the Vietnam era vet out.